Huge news, uh, so the Vermont Senate has given final legislative approval to a sweeping gun bill, which is now headed to Governor Phil Scott's desk. He said he intends to sign it. Uh, this is a huge deal. And uh, I mean, we need to give credit where credit is due. I think it took a lot of courage for a governor in a gun-loving state to speak in favor of common sense gun reform. I mean, especially a Republican one. And he ain't no Republican. Excuse me. Governor Phil Scott is a certified gun-grabbing Democrat. Hashtag not my governor. Okay, first of all, Ricky, there were still Democrats in both the House and Senate who voted against this bill. And secondly, there is nothing in this bill that would take your guns away. But to be fair, lawmakers are still considering bills that would allow police to temporarily confiscate your guns, but only if you were cited for domestic violence or a judge considered you to be an extreme risk. See, Brian? Gun grabbers. And this ain't even about guns. This is a mental health issue. Okay, so by extreme risk, they mean people who pose a clear threat to others or even themselves which would include people suffering from severe mental illness. Yeah, well, he's still not a Republican. Well, actually, he is still very much Republican when it comes to his aversion to new taxes. I mean, this dude just came up with a list of 13 bills he will not support because he thinks they would require new fees or taxes. America! Well, no, one of these bills does nothing but establish a group of people responsible for figuring out how the hell we're gonna pay for the federally mandated cleanup of Vermont waterways. Hell yeah! F clean water. Well, no, dude, it turns out water is pretty important. And this makes no sense. Like, I don't know if he just expects someone else to be governor when shit really hits the shore, or if he's waiting to see if the Trump administration completely dismantles the EPA, but it seems pretty reckless. Well, what was that, Brian? I cannot hear you. I think I'm losing my cell service. Yeah, that's probably because 26 towns lost cell service this weekend because this company, Coverage Co., is going under. And there's only one proposal that might help restore that service, but Governor Scott opposes it because it would require a temporary fee on Vermont phone bills. All right, if you still hear me, uh, it is a witch hunt. Ask Roseanne. Roseanne will tell you. Uh, no collusion. Uh, John Goodman. Wow. I need a sip of water while it's still safe. Um, excuse well, me? I am with the Burlington Water Department, and you're gonna need to pay me about, uh, $50,000 for that water there. Okay, there is no way that is correct. Ah, uh, I've heard that one all before, buddy. <laughs> no, you're gonna need to fork it over. I'm probably gonna have to shut down the water for this whole building here. What? Okay, can you at least check the meter again? That seems pretty steep for a glass of water. All right. What? Okay, okay, wow, wow. <laughs> Oh, well, it turns out we owe you about two million dollars, actually. Wow. okay. You know what? You can... How about you just keep that money? Consider it my donation to clean water. We're even. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. You don't know how much that means! We've been making so many mistakes yeah, lately! Yeah, I read all about it this week. <laughs> oh my god. Overwhelmed okay, by your generosity, you sir. Are you serious? Oh, he is a good man. You have to like and share and subscribe right now if water means anything to you. Because it sure as hell means a lot to me. <laughs> oh my god. Water. The winters here are brutal because I can't get in that lake there. It's frozen and I can't get the water I need. <laughs> I'm, I'm made of 80% water, in fact, and I want to get to 100. I, I'm, I, I'm gonna do it. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. I wish it could rain indoors. I can feel the water all over my body. But no. Let's put a roof on this place. <laughs> Let's put an awning here so we don't get wet. Who doesn't want to get water all over their butt? I don't understand. Now splash zones. That was a real invention there. I was like, yo, you want to get water all over you? Sit in the splash zone. What a brilliant, brilliant opportunity to have a whale splash water all over 